Zach's Rank Buys, stocks with a short-term buy or strong buy recommendation. Now, here are more Zach's Rank Buys. Stocks that are on the aggressive growth track is what we're going to talk about now with Bill Wilton, aggressive growth stock strategist at Zach's.com. And this one here is, um, I mean, it's easy enough to say G3 <laughs> Apparel Group, yeah. but when you get around to the ticker, it's like G... I, 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 mm -hmm. right? Correct. Okay. Uh, well, what they do, though, they're, uh, you know, an apparel company, you probably never heard of the actual company name, but the brands uh, are household names, uh, Tommy Hilfiger, Levi's, Dockers, Calvin Klein, you know, they all operate uh, under the umbrella of G3 Apparel. Uh, Obviously preppier clothes than I wear. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, their latest earnings surprise came back in June. Uh, they reported a seven cent loss, uh, which is not an alarming um, situation for retailers to be in given the cyclical nature of their business. Uh, but what was nice is that it was narrower than expected, uh, and it was a lot narrower than the 41 cent loss that they posted a year prior to that. Uh, we're also seeing uh, they provided a bullish outlook and one of the surveys that I was reading up on uh, by the National Retail Federation uh, where they focus on back-to-school spending, they're actually seeing a very strong rebound uh, in back-to-school spending, about 10% um, across the board here. So, you know, a lot of people are shying away from consumer-related stocks, yet, you know, the consumer is actually being quite resilient right now given the employment situation that a lot of people are in. Um, so things are still looking very good for them. Uh, and because investors are shying away, that's produced a lot of great value in this uh, company. Been following them for a while, and you know people are just reluctant to buy them right now. Uh, but as the estimates keep climbing, climbing, they're trading at about 11 times forward earnings right now, which is a good value. And the peg ratio, which is something I always look at, make sure you're getting those growth rates mm -hmm. uh, at a reasonable price, coming in under 0.7. Uh, anything under 1.0 is considered a pretty good value for those growth rates. Uh, the other nice thing, I mentioned that people were shying away from retailers like G3. Uh, they had been in the uh, pretty extended bearish uh, downtrend, yet over the past few weeks uh, we've seen a lot of buying as people are looking for uh, stocks with good value and good growth rates, uh, and a lot of them are turning here. Uh, so breaking out of that downtrend was, was big news, and also the MACD is looking very bullish. Then you've written about integrated silicon solution recently, IS. S I. Mm -hmm. Man, why do you come up with these ones that have such hard tickers? <laughs> <laughs> so they're uh, in Silicon Valley? Uh, yeah, what they do is they make, a, they make circuits for a variety of different industries. Uh, their most recent report was uh, a little bit uh, closer to where we are today. It was July 27th, uh, and they actually reported a record revenue uh, for a company that's been around for a while. That's always something that's great to see. Uh, the revenues increased 25%. Uh, to 71.2 uh, million. Their earnings per share came in at 57 cents a share, uh, which was well above the consensus of 46 cents. Uh, they also provided strong guidance, which caused those estimates to jump very similar to G3 uh, before because those estimates are up uh, and people have been shying away from more aggressive stocks uh, over the past couple months. They're trading at a great value, just six times those forward estimates. Uh, so there's a lot to like here. Um, the other thing that uh, this chart that I'm showing is uh, our, what we call the price versus consensus. Each of those colored lines is, represents the full year Zach's consensus. Uh, lately, you can see that uh, there's a, a big divergence between the share price and uh, those consensus estimates. Historically, you know, we're looking for the, those to trade in line with each other. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, this is a bit more aggressive because the share prices are uh, trending lower. Uh, but if you're willing to take on a little bit more risk, there could be uh, plenty of upside here. All right. And where we are today at the time of this conversation is August the 3rd, mm -hmm. by the way. Uh, do you own either of these? I do not. All right. Check out more Zach's Rank Buy Stock Pick Ideas for yourself on our homepage at Zach's.com. We put four new ones up there for you daily, one in each of the investing categories that we write about on Zach's.com. Bill's category, aggressive growth included. With Bill Wilton, I'm Terry Ruffalo.